All right, well, I am here with Colby Sutton, who is, uh, when I moved to Southside back in 2011, he was one of the first group of seniors I had the pleasure of coaching. And uh, Colby, in the book, is under the, the, the acronym of GRIT, but he is the R for resilient. You know, when I think of athletes, I think of Colby. Uh, from my perspective, I took over a program. I didn't know what was going to happen. And uh, they hadn't had a lot of success, and so I just kind of assumed – there wasn't going to be a lot of kind of gritty, tough kids there. And Colby was the one that showed me I was wrong. Uh, I had a lot of assumptions that were not right. Uh, and he became one of the better players on our team for sure that first year I was there. Uh, less with athletic ability for sure. But what I remember about him more is his – so, Colby, if you want to uh, talk a little bit about your time. You know, I only had one year with you. But if you want to talk about kind of your high school experience and – and what you learned from it, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, so so starting out, um, obviously, my first uh, freshman year um, of football, um, I knew going into it that um, we didn't carry we didn't carry a very big, powerful name um, when it came to football, um, and I knew that it had been that way since pretty much our program had started. So. Um, Saying that, um, I did, for some reason or another, I was still interested um, in playing. Uh, uh, football was kind of one of the sports that um, gave me a little bit of an outlet. I would say uh, it was just it was just a good, um, I, constructive sport to play in. Um, taught me a lot of things, and I'm sure we'll get into that later on. But um, Saying all of that, uh, you know, we didn't have the greatest, you know, seasons um, in our history. So um, what I did like about it, though, was um, and what kind of drove me to keep pursuing it was um, the fact that teammates, a lot of it had to do with it. So I had some I had some buddies that uh, that stuck with it and 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 stayed by my side uh, one of my best friends uh, he 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 wasn't he wasn't very talented either um neither one of us were were very big in size but um we kind of we kind of made a pack um going through it um starting out as as sophomores that that we we're gonna we we're gonna push through this thing together and um it was rough uh having having those um oh and ten seasons you know like um, it was it was tough to walk the halls, you know. Um, it's just like any other high school. Uh, lots of talk goes on, so um, you weren't. Well, it was hard to hold your head up, I guess, and be a part of the football team. But um, at that time, Coach Johnson uh, was coaching me, um, and I there I really I really respected Coach Johnson. He taught me a lot of a lot of. Um, very important life lessons um and and i think one of the things that kind of kept me pushing forward was take take the sport out of it you know take take winning and take take the actual game out but i i realized even at a young age that i was learning good life lessons um whether it be um what coach johnson was teaching me on the field you know i was kind of applying some of those stuff um to my life to my schoolwork um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of, I don't know if I answered the question right, but. No, there's nothing wrong, man. That's perfect. I mean, that's a, you know, when I, the, the athletes that I put in the book and you're one of about six or seven of them are all kids that were, I thought ahead of their time maturity wise. And, and I thought you could see that from you that you understood, you love the game, you know, but you had a, you had a maturity level about you that was above most kids that was your age. And so, um, and you talked about, you know, being over, but understanding that there was more to it than just that. However, you still played your guts out. I remember your senior year, we're kind of transition into your senior year, uh, walking in and just kind of noticing right off the bat, man, this guy, he plays hard. And it seemed like early on, we're going to play you mainly defense. And then the more I gave you the ball, it just kind of felt like this guy refuses to lose. He's just so resilient. He continues to go, and there's a couple of games I remember. I remember a Riverview game where I think on the probably 40th carry, you broke loose and ran over about eight guys and scored. And 
I remember the Newport game, you know, the game at the end of your senior year where you carried it. I don't know if you know this. You carried it 41 times. You had 15 tackles on defense. And at not once did you ever ask to come off the field. And those are the things when I think of resiliency, those are the things that I think of. So talk a little bit about your senior year and, and uh, you know, the experience to go from we didn't win anything and then now we're starting to have a little success and what that meant to yeah. you. Yeah, so that first that first win was big. It was it was a uh, it was almost shocking. Um, we had put in a hard a hard off season with you coming in pretty hot and heavy, uh, pushing us during the off season, which is what we needed. Um, so that first win, man, it was it was long overdue. Um, and it was it was like I said, it was almost shocking. It was like, man, like we can do this, like we're capable of doing this. Um, and I think that little bit of that little bit of spark and that little bit of like success is, is kind of what drove, um, I think of that 2012 team, like that there was a bunch of gritty people on there, um, that, that just didn't have necessarily the athletic skills that, um, that teams to come to, that have come through the program has had. Um, we were small, like throughout, everywhere you know and uh it looking back though I, I think the grit is what allowed us to win the games that we did just because um we might have been outsized but we were in there together you know and um I remember the Lone Oak game is one of the games that kind of really uh, really stuck out to me uh, as far as like carrying that on later in my life um I think it was a uh, we were fourth and goal um like on the one yard line um and man like taking that and, and applying that to life how many times that that you're going to be fourth and one you know in your life you know and you just got to put your head down and, and and cross that goal line you know like that that's that's kind of I think a good picture of what that team was like um it didn't matter you know uh, who had the who had the bigger line or who had the faster running backs? It was it was like it, it, at the end of the day, it was kind of who, who who wants this more? You know, like who's gonna who's gonna get that one extra yard um, at the end of the game? And I think that that was something that that you really pushed throughout our off season. You know, um, coming in that summer, uh, and I guess honestly, like for me, the turning point um, when I realized that that this is this is this is going to be like what I want to do like this is where I want to succeed at and this is what I you know like I think there's a point that you got to get to like mentally that you're just like I'm going to give it my all like this is I'm going to leave it on the field um I think that was we had some um seven on seven tournaments and um uh, we were at Harding I think and man it was hot we were out on the turf um, playing, playing in helmets, and I, I just remember scorching out there, and I, I, I distinctly remember thinking, like, why would anyone go through this? Like, what, what's to benefit from it? You know, other than being like, I knew coming into the, you know, the season, it was going to be tough for us to have a winning season coming off, you know, the previous year not winning a game. Like, and so at that moment, I was like. I can, I can make, you know, I can do, I can make this about me, you know, like this can be a personal goal of mine to give it everything that I can out here on the field. And I think, I think once you can do that personally as a player and then get your teammates to buy into that same mentality, that's when you start having successful teams. Yeah, I, I think so for sure. I mean, and I think you epitomize that. I wrote down a couple notes too. You know, I remember the mud game at Cave City, the picture in the yeah. book actually is you just covered in mud in that game. And so really the question I've got is when it got tough, it got hot, it got muddy, it got – we had a lot of things we had to overcome that year. You hit on several of them. What made you continue to push? What made you not quit? Where a lot of, a lot of kids don't win a game coming into your senior year. It doesn't look great early. You know, what made you keep pushing forward? Yeah. Yeah, well I think that goes back to unfortunately a lot of the a lot of that 
that skill and that mentality, it really can't be taught. I don't, I don't necessarily think, and I'm not saying that in a bragging way. I'm just saying like, personally, you have to make up that decision before you step out onto the field, whether or not you're going to lay down. Now there's things along the way for me that helped out. So seeing my teammates um, alongside of me lined up next to me, you know, seeing them give it their all, that definitely helps you in those, those times that, that felt like, what's the purpose of this? I honestly think like deep down it, the the decision has to be made long before the ball snaps, in my opinion, like you have to, you have to set that in your heart that it it doesn't matter what it takes. You're going to give, you're going to empty your tank, giving it all you got. And um, I think going back in my life, like that's kind of, I don't, you know, that's kind of just the mentality that I had with everything. Um, you know, when it came to school, wasn't the smartest, you know. Um, later on when I went to college, I, you know, went in with no scholarships, nothing like that. But I was the first out of my family, you know, to, to graduate with a college degree. Um, and I guess what I'm trying to say from that is, like, I'd put in my mind that that was what I was going to succeed. I was going to do that. I was going to accomplish that goal um, for me personally. Um, and I think the same thing applied for me in football. Um, I, 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 I saw something that I valued in football. I saw something that, um, that, that I, I liked in it. And I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I just set my mind to it and, and realized that this is something that I'm going to succeed. And I think the work, beforehand like I said you know the times that you're not on the field underneath the lights you know when you're in the weight room um, when you're in you know the field house watching film and stuff like that I think the, that the prep time is what allows you to you know be be prepared to succeed in those moments yeah and you hit on something I want to kind of go down if, if you're good with it you talk about value you found the value yeah. but you've already kind of mentioned that that value is not just the game. It was the lessons beyond the game. The book is actually called Training Your Athletes Beyond the Game. That's kind of yeah. the idea that came behind. So if you could talk to, you know, you're at the age now where if you had chose to be a coach, you would be it. And in your job, you're probably around athletes working with them. So what are some things that you wish they would understand about working with their athletes, not during that moment, but the things those athletes are going to take with them that they can maybe teach them, you know, specifically, we've already kind of mentioned resiliency, but really any direction you want to go with. That. Yeah. I think back to one of the most impactful moments for me, like in sports, was, was the, we touched on it a little bit, was the fourth and goal. Um, at the moment, I probably wasn't in the mindset of thinking at it, but hindsight, I definitely reflected on it and realized that, like, you had trusted me um, with that opportunity um, and, and not discrediting any other one on the field by no means, because it took all 11 of us to, to, to score, but you had trusted in me. You'd put faith in me. Um, fourth and goal. Like that's it. Like this is it. This is the last play, you know? So having a coach that believes in you, that truly, truly believes in you um, that um, whether that's, you know, whether that's, you know, doing something on the field or off the field, you know, um, having, having, you know, someone behind you, I think is one of the most that, that I can say is one of the most Im important things, um, truly showing that you care about the kids, um, and that, and that you're, you're going to walk alongside of them the, the, the time that you have with them. Um, I think that's the most important thing. Uh, and I, I saw that throughout the season that, that there was, there was times that, um, I probably wasn't the most qualified one to <laughs> to have the ball in my hands or or to you know to be making the play uh, when the play needed to be made. But um, you gave me a chance. You gave me you, you gave me the opportunity to to prove myself. And I think that that's that's one of the most. If you can just just give the kid the kids a chance, give them give them a chance. And I think back to to other sports that I played in. Um, and I always felt, especially basketball for me, like was was a tough sport because I felt like I was always uh, playing timidly, whereas football, you know, I wasn't necessarily 
worried about playing timidly. Like I wasn't afraid to make a, st a mistake. And I think that um, the coaching style um, that you that you did, I don't know what your magic was, but it allowed me to to not play with that fear of making a mistake or, or, you know, blowing whatever opportunity that we had. I didn't have that weight on my shoulders. Um, and I, I think that that's another key aspect is, is making it to where the kids, um, the kids understand that it's all right to make a mistake. It's what you do after that mistake that determines, you know, your character. Um, if, if you make a mistake, pick yourself back up, dust yourself off and get out there and do it again. You know, like that's, that's one of the big things that, that I always took away from playing under you is, is the fact that I didn't have that fear of messing up. Like I knew I wasn't always going to make the, make the right, you know, play or, or, or succeed in it. But at the end of the day, you had faith in me. Um, you might, you might've been the one that, you know, wanted me to, to, to do it, you know, have that shot. So, yeah, I don't know if that answered it greatly, but no, that's perfect, man. Well, that goal here is just to, you know, there's going to be coaches I think watching this and and going from it, and I think you hit several things. You talk about believing in your athletes, and of course, I it was easy to believe in you. <laughs> it was pretty easy, uh, but and you mentioned fear of mistakes, and I think a lot of that comes back to actually the coach you had before me with Coach Johnston, where he lets you know that football means a little bit, but as you see right now you got the rest of your life that's coming up yeah. and so we're just learning lessons and we're just trying to get better. And I loved how you said, don't let the fear of making a mistake be a big deal. Make it and get up and dust yourself and make another one and keep moving. Because I hope that's something you're taking forward with you in life. And, um, you know, that you, you learned from before I even got there because you had a good one. But uh, any final thoughts you'd like to leave for coaches here, Colby, or, or uh, people that might be listening that, you know, that, that are working with young people that you think that might help? Yeah. Man, I'd just like to say, you know, it's – I know it's tough uh, in, your, in having the occupation of a coach to, to get caught up in, in wins and, and how successful you are. But remember who – remember who you're molding like who you're coaching because my coaches that I played for in high school um, were some of the most impactful um, people that I had in my life. Um, and, and how they, the things that they taught me um, in playing just a simple game, how they impacted um, my life to come later on. Um, I honestly don't, I honestly can't, I don't have words that I can thank them for that. Um, there's just things that you can't, you can't teach in a school book. Um, you got to get out and you got to play a sport um, to learn hard work, dedication, you know, persistence, uh, whatever it might be. Um, so I guess what my final thought is just care about the kids, you know, and, and I think once you do that, winning will come, you know, um, I think, I think that will come when, when you truly care about the kids and you have relationships with them. Um, I think, I think everything else will line up. So.